Hi, it's Mary Ayers from TappIntoAction.com, and you've been tapping along with me as we are doing some manifesting. For me, it's a house. For you, it might be a job. It might be a relationship or a business, but I've been tracking how I've been feeling and the feelings that come up as we go out onto this journey. And my latest one is the feeling of scarcity. So we get the MLS, I look at the houses that are available, and my heart drops because I think, oh my gosh, there is not much out there. And what is out there is not my taste. It is not what I want. It's not even getting close, people. I'm not talking about like, you know, I'm being picky. I am talking, it is not what I want. And if you are manifesting and you are feeling those same things, I get it. Because in that moment, we're thinking, this is all I have to pick from. I mean, I want a house. I'm, am I going to have to take what is out there? And it's not what I want, so don't I get what I want? And how come other people get what they want, but I don't get what I want? And bottom line, there isn't going to be more. I have to take from the bottom of the barrel. And that feeling of scarcity is one that I know is not true to what I believe but it's what I feel in my body. So think about this. You know, you go out on a date, you meet somebody, and you think to yourself, well, he's okay, or maybe he's not anything that I would want. But gee, I really want to be with somebody. If I get picky now, I may be 10 years before I ever find what I really, really want. Or a job. You know, so I want something that makes me feel alive and creative and that I'm enjoying and I enjoy the people I work with. But it's not happening. I don't see it out there, you know, or I don't see clients coming. So how am I supposed to get my business going? In that moment, we are having a scarcity storm and it feels that way. And when we get into that kind of, that's all there is for me, I'm going to have to pick for something I don't even want. It feels terrible. And what I want you to do instead of going through the story is I want you to do some tapping. And so come and tap with me as we get rid of this scarcity storm and we remember that we are living in a very, very abundant universe. Until then, let's get on this scarcity. Even though it doesn't look like there's enough for me, what I want isn't out there, And I'm going to have to make do with what is there. I don't get why I don't get what I want. And it's scary. And it brings me down. This feeling like I don't get to have what I want. This feeling that I'm going to have to make do. That's all I get. But the universe doesn't play fair. But I'm trying to remember that that's just the feeling I have right now. And this feeling reminds me of other times when I didn't get what I wanted. Maybe that was a toy or to go somewhere or a different relationship. But boy, I wanted it. And it wasn't meant to be. And as I looked around, it felt like everybody else was getting what they wanted. They got good stuff. How come I don't get the good stuff? Is there not enough good stuff to go around? And I have to remind myself But that's not really what I believe. 
I know it's an abundant universe. And I know that what I really want is the feeling that having that thing will give me. Having a home that I love coming home to. A place where my whole family is held in warmth and love. A place where the holidays are magical. It's mine. And I love it. I love the thought of it. I love being in it. And that's what I really, really want. And the truth is, there are absolutely endless ways for me to have that feeling. I can think of all the past times where I've had that feeling. And I can make pictures that give me that feeling now, even if it's not here. And I can remember that every time I feel the abundance of that feeling, I give myself a gift of knowing that there's always a way to have that feeling before what I'm looking for shows up. And every time I get that feeling, I'm letting the universe know how, how appreciative I am of the gift that's coming my way. And I am so ready and excited to receive it. because I can already feel it. It's there for me. I feel the abundance of those wonderful feelings. And I give thanks now, knowing that it's coming. Take a breath. Now, maybe you're not there yet. That's okay. If you're stuck in scarcity, be where you are. Tap for what you're feeling now. What memory is coming up for you? What are you thinking about? What did you learn? Sometimes what we're really doing is peeling back this onion so that we can really get to what has grown into our belief system about what we can have and what my people can have and what's possible for me. And of course, we want to break up those beliefs. They're just somebody else's beliefs that they instilled in us that we just picked them up. And we want to shift them into beliefs that we want to have. And we want to become the creators that we can be and that we know we are. Okay, so keep tapping. In the meantime, let me hear your what you're manifesting. Let me hear what your experience is. Email me at tapintoaction.com or go ahead and just put a comment in and maybe I can do some tapping for something that's coming up for you. Let me know what would be helpful because just because I haven't experienced it yet doesn't mean that I won't. So in a way, you're kind of helping me get ahead of any of those things that might be coming up. Um, in the future for me. So let me know. And I've got a new gift for you, by the way, too. It's called The Three Beliefs That Shape Your Confidence. It's a great article on what beliefs we need to have to really set the foundation for confidence so that when we build those, build that foundation, 
then we are less anxious. We feel more secure. We feel more certain. We feel more radiant that we can go out into the world and really create what we want to create. So um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Let me know. I want to hear from you again. Mary at tapintoaction.com. Until next time, stay brilliant.